Yo, what is up guys? It is Yellowfin and we have an interesting finals before us right now. And really, I upgraded stuff, but not for the Bakmano. I upgraded stuff for the Audi R8 Spider 4.2 FSI Quattro. I really, really want this Audi. I'd also be fine with the Aston because it's also a new Epic, but I'm really gunning for the Audi R8 and hoping I can get it. And this is the hand that I am using. So, we got five times all the road trip stuff, five times saloon, five times non-prize cars, all dry, some drags thrown in there, and an Ocean City Streets, which is why I got this guy. So, starting off, 332, Dodge Charger, SRT, Hellcat, Red Eye, Wide Body. I got a 113, Alfa Romeo, 156, GTA, Super 2000. Those cars had already been upgraded. This car, I upgraded for the finals, and also because it was good, and for the prelims and the qualifiers, I used it in everything. So... 233 Holden HSV W427. It's just also a great car too, which is why I wanted to max it out. Here's kind of my lacking aspect, the Dodge Charger Scat Pack wide body. And then I've also got this bad boy, the 223 Fiat Abarth 131 Mira Fiori Evolution. Got it from my 500k pack opening just recently. Definitely suggest watching that video. That was a crazy pack opening. And I, I'll put one last fuse into it as well. This is my fifth Abarth, so I don't really think I need five. I'll keep four, maybe for fun, but really I want to finish off this bar, so I'll do it right after I finish these five races and get joined into a bracket. So, really was my best options, honestly. I mean, I could have maybe maxed out like the Falcon and replaced the Dodge, but I don't really think these even, or the Holdens, I have these Holdens too, or actually this Audi might have been better, but honestly I'm not really sure what would have, if it would have been much of a difference compared to the Dodge Charger. So let's just jump right into it and see. Let's observe the competition and see how well we can perform against them. So first guy looks super easy. Ocean long drag, ocean short drag, ocean city street, slalom, and hairpin. All pretty straightforward right there. This Dodge Charger is definitely going to carry too. Yeah, 107 points against the Audi S7. Then right here, I've got the great twisty cars as well. I've got two, the Alpha and the Abarth. Both really useful, I'm going to bet. Then the Holden will also get 91 points right here. Actually, I think we should buy some tickets and do 10 races. Probably not a bad idea since I'm joining so late into the event. 298 to 0, and then this last one will also be a win. So yeah, I think let's play some 10 tickets instead of 5. So there we go, 61st place to start off. Not bad. I mean, I'd also like winning the Bach too, but I feel like I'm not running that great of a hand. I mean, it's not a bad hand. It's got good stuff epics-wise. But compared to like some other stuff that can be run, like some crazy legendaries and stuff, I'm not really in that great of hands. So city streets, um, highway, long drag, g-force, hairpin. Perfect. Nice drink of some water. Gotta stay hydrated while playing the Bachmano finals. And then right here will be the HSV GTS. Also not a bad car too. I just really like these Holdens, honestly. So, I'd like to max my other ones eventually, too. But, that'll be whenever they come to, like, a necessity. Like, that's the thing. That's why I maxed out my Holden HSV. Is because it seemed like a good time to max it out. Like, see, they 332'd theirs. That's probably not the best idea. I mean, it's got good MRA. It's got, like, 90. But the fact that it's medium just drags it down so much then. Unless they want to do that medium ground clearance drag strip. That's, like, barely ever used. And usually has specific requirements for it. I mean, if, if they maxed it for that specific person, per, um, not that specific purpose, that's the word I was looking for, then good on them for doing that, taking the initiative, um, there and there, there we go, that's all good, the Abarth actually seems to be pretty good though, because I could use the Alfa Romeo on the twisties, and then use the 0-60 to 60 of the Abarth for the zero to more speed stuff. Then you know, look at my hold and just go, leave that BMW in the dust with its MRA. Still only getting 50 points though, but it's also just a cool car. That's also why I maxed out. Same goes for that Abarth as well. I just feel like it'll be very useful in the future, which is why I wanted to put upgrades into it. I mean, I could have dropped some upgrades into the Alpha as well, but I already had two fuses into the chassis. And I mean, I've got the Renault Laguna and I've got that Audi and I've got the Legendary and I've got the um, Nissan Primera. So really, my front-wheel drive doesn't need much help, but my 70s collection could totally use some help that this Abarth's going to provide. Actually, let's, I haven't checked the 70s collection now since the addition of this Abarth. So let's see just how much better it is, honestly. 
Yeah, that is quite an improvement, honestly. I could finally max out the 911 Carrera. Might not be a bad idea. It is a great car. GT70 is also not bad. Escort's kind of meh now that there's all these like low ground clearance um, ultra rares and epics. Moby Dick's a great one. But yeah, so I feel like that's actually a pretty good one to have with all these upgrades. And there's my five Fiat Abarth X19 prototipos. I mean, I'd like to keep five, but I also want to max out that Abarth. So yeah, this guy's totally doable. Because we got a win right here and right there. And there and there. Ooh, that Ocean Highway will actually be pretty interesting. I wonder if we'll win that one. All right, 50 points right there. Gets the Ford Falcon. That's also a cool car too. Would like to max that one out as well, but I felt the Holden would probably be better because of its MRA. Then this one. Oh, the Charger actually has better MRA than the Alpha. Or maybe not. Maybe they're pretty similar. I wasn't sure the Charger was pulling away though, and then it stopped pulling away after the corner. But that's really where the Alpha Romeo shines is right here on the slalom test. And this will be interesting against the BMW. We've got a lot better handling. I'm not sure how the MRAs compare to each other. I mean, the BMW keeps on trying to pass us, but nope, we are winning. There we go, very nice. 270 to 50, that puts us at 4-0 now. Okay, on to the next round. Yep, another easy opponent. Okay, so we'll win right here and there. Hairpin, yep, ocean, slalom. It's all pretty straightforward, honestly. Nothing really needs to get changed for any of these track sets. My hand is built perfectly for these track sets, which is why I'm honestly not sure how well I can do. I have a really solid hand for the tracks, but I'm just not sure if people have better stuff than me. Like, see, look at this guy. Let's, let's observe real quick. We can win the long drag. We could win the highway and the g-force we should be able to win this honestly so we'll give it a shot that's a loss win on the long drag g-force is a win highway should be a win hairpin road is a loss so we'll have to see let's see how well this abarth does compared to the porsche taken gts we were able to beat the bmw the porsche is staying a bit more ahead though compared to the bmw Okay, we did not have enough corners. That's gonna be a loss then. Unless somehow my Holden's better. No, it's not, okay. So that is gonna be a loss. Dang, I thought the Abarth maybe could pull it off against the Porsche Taken, but it could not. So that's an unfortunate early loss. This guy we can beat though, that's an easy win. Well, not super easy, I guess. We're not three-starring him, but we're getting pretty close. There we go. So we should have four wins. Dang, he's got the bummy Panamera because it's low ground clearance. There we go. 237 to 80. Lost a couple points there. Um, let's jump into the next one now. And that's also easy win. Win, 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 win. Well, I guess Harpin Road were losing. I don't know why I said win there. But everything else is a win. So let's just skip it. Yeah, 231 to 50. Okay, now let's observe some hands near us. This guy, beatable. This guy, not beatable. Unless it's a different track set. Win, win. Okay, we can beat this guy on this track set. This guy, win, win. Ooh, he doesn't have a maxed out of Barth either. We're at the same same settings. But it's probably win and win. So one loss there. I can beat that guy. This guy. Ooh, this guy's got a good hand. Yeah, I can only maybe win this because he's 3-2-3. Three, three. I can win that. But that's honestly about it, I think. Yeah, because he's got the Beamer and the Alpha. This guy no shot <laughs> and this guy oh he's got that m3 i really like that win win potential win honestly but we're not gonna risk it with that guy so we'll go with this guy let's get our revenge 
After losing to him, let's beat him now. Win, win, loss, loss, win. There we go. We should be getting our revenge now on this guy. So we're going to lose by 50. Then here, we're going to win against the Taken. There we go. Nice 50 point win. Here, we're going to lose to the M3. Yep. Oh, we got dunked on by the M3. That must, car must have some great MRA then. This one's a win because of our lightweight and five better handling too. And then this should also be a win. Right, right. Oh my gosh, no, we're just giving this guy free wins. We are really fumbling the bag right now. For sure, I could have picked it just that other guy. Okay, let's just go with this guy. My, my heart's really letting me down on the ocean highway. I should probably look up what its MRA actually is because I honestly have no clue. Hairpin, streets, that, that, that. There you go. I totally should look up the MRA of the Abarth, though. It's probably not a bad idea. And also the MRA on the Charger. I have no clue what the Charger's MRA is either. So for this finals, I'm definitely going to need to do some research. But the wins don't really matter right now. What really matters is just getting the tickets in so I can hopefully end up with my Audi R8. But that video will be out tomorrow then with my finals rewards. So definitely stay tuned and subscribe. That's going to be it. Join the Discord link in the description. Follow me on Instagram at yellowfincx 30 um, I don't know what else to say. Thanks for watching and goodbye.